you, Senator Hegarty. Thank you, Madam Chair and Vice Chair. Thank you for holding this hearing today. Uh, gentlemen, welcome. Um, Secretary Morcus, I'm going to turn my first question to you. I'm having my staff pass around page 51 from the August budget proposal that you put forward in the supplemental request. Um, what I'd like to do is draw your attention to the language that's highlighted there in yellow. Uh, this is a breathtaking proposal that basically requests the authority for DHS to reprogram any amounts, any all existing past, present, and future amounts of ICE funding, the ability to redirect that funding in its entirety, if that were your decision, to non-law enforcement activities. There's a litany of them listed there, including to non-governmental organizations. In essence, it would allow you to defund ICE to some extent, maybe to its entirety, and place those funds to other purposes. I looked for this same request in your October budget proposal, and I didn't find it. So, Mr. Secretary, are you still requesting this? Senator, I have um, I've never proposed the defunding of ICE. I would vigorously... Mr. Secretary, that's the exact... Please read this language that I handed to you here. Senator, I would vigorously oppose the defunding of ICE, and please um, recall that I served for 12 years as a federal prosecutor, and I believe devoutly in the law enforcement mission of that agency. I'm not asking you about your resume, Mr. Secretary. I'm asking you about the language that's plainly here in the page. This language asks for the authority that we grant you the authority, DHS the authority, to, to reprogram the funds that are intended for law enforcement at ICE. The authority to reprogram to the variety of things, like non-governmental organizations, which are clearly not law enforcement. I mean, are you denying this would allow you the ability to reprogram even $1? Oh, let, let, me, let, me, let me be clear, uh, Senator, because it's, uh, I, I would want to read this carefully and in the context. Well, I would hope you would have read it, because you're talking about an $8 billion budget here, and you're here to defend this budget right now. Senator, let me, well, let, let me be clear that there are different types of detention um, that work for different individuals to ensure their appearance in the immigration enforcement proceedings in which we place them. For example, there are individuals who pose a threat to public safety that need to be detained in a full custodial setting. There are individuals who do not pose a public safety threat as to whom we have some level of assurance of their continued appearance in enforcement proceedings and therefore we place them on alternatives to detention. There very well may be individuals that will continue to appear in their immigration enforcement proceedings if they are in a community-based residential center. Well, here's what For this, example, propose, this, is, this proposal, though, specifically asks about the budget for the only law enforcement agency that we have that is charged with the deportation of, of people that have come to this country illegally, many of them with criminal records. And what this asks for is the authority to reprogram that budget, to defund ICE and take those funds and use them for a variety of things, including giving them to non-governmental organizations. What it asks for, in essence, the way I read this, is to give ICE a different purpose. You have the ability to reprogram ICE and turn it into a travel agency that brings illegal immigrants here and sends them to hotels in New York City. You're going to turn this into an electromagnet if we were to allow you this authority. That is completely false. Then why is it, is it requested your, in this manner, Mr. Secretary? It, Can it, you look at the language here and tell me that's not what you're requesting? Senator, is it, your, is it your assertion that when we contract out to an organization outside of the government to deliver greater efficiency? My assertion uh, is that, that you are asking for the ability to redirect or reprogram is the technical term you use, to reprogram ICE funding to those sorts of purposes. That is a defunding of law enforcement. So, and so, placing those law enforcement funds, which we desperately need law enforcement, so Senator, and putting them into custodial services or anything that might make it more convenient or more attractive to come to this country illegally. Senator, so, so your assertion is that when we contract out, we are defunding the organization? No, and I'd like to reclaim my time because I'm running out of it. This is not an assertion. This is a plain reading of the language here. You're asking for breathtaking authority to reprogram to defund ICE. That is You're not backing away from this request. I'm not talking about the custodial services. I'm talking about your request to defund ICE 
up to the entirety of their budget. And I'm gonna do everything I can to stop that from happening here. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, um, Senator Coons. 